Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video to film because I'm engaged! This has just been like the most fun process ever and I just love being engaged. It is so fun to say Beyonce and plan wedding things and I just love this sort of thing so like this is so fun and I'm so excited and there's just been so much joy that has come with this. So I absolutely love being engaged. Obviously I love my fiance. It has just been a blast. So I thought I would come on here today and just give you a little bit of an update. Um, I also did ask um, for a few questions on my Instagram story, so I do have a couple to answer from there. And then I'm just gonna kind of give you a little bit of info on um, everything about being engaged and a little bit of wedding planning. So let's get started. All right, so Joe proposed on November 2nd of 2018. Um, we were actually out on a hike in Colorado where we live and we were about like halfway up this mountain and we stopped on this big rock formation and he brought his tripod and was like, hey, like we should take a picture and like set it up. And at first I was like, that's kind of weird because he usually doesn't really like photos as much as I do. so. He sets it up and I'm standing over there and he's like figuring it out and whatever. And then he comes over to me to take a picture and we're just standing there posed and smiling. And I noticed that like there's no flashing and you know, self timer photos, there's always flashing. So I'm like, Joe, like you didn't set the timer, like it's not going. And then uh, of course, the whole time I've been smiling posed for this photo, he's just been looking at me and waiting for me to notice. And then he gets down on my knee and proposes. And honestly, we both blacked out. I do not remember a thing he said other than like, I love you, will you marry me? It was, it was just like such an out of body experience. Like. All of it just felt like, um, like emotions were just so high and none of it felt real. It was crazy. And obviously like we had been talking about it for quite some time now, um, which is why we moved in together because we really just wanted to take that step after doing two years of long distance. Um, so it was just, it was amazing. And I am in love with my engagement ring. If you can see it here. If it'll focus, it is a rose gold pear ring with a halo and then also the band is studded halfway around and then what I like is that the back is just the rose gold as well. So I'm just so obsessed. I love this ring so much and obviously I love him as well. So this is all just like a whirlwind of emotions. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how it happened. We did kind of have to start planning things about like a week after we got engaged just because Joe is in the military and finding a date where he could actually make it to the wedding and not be pulled into work or something like that was kind of a like, a high stake thing, right? So if you are in the military or you are engaged or married to someone in the military, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So obviously it's very important that he makes it to the wedding. So that was the first thing we did. We put a lot of research into when so we could pick a date. And that kind of did make things a little bit more difficult, but yes and no, I'll explain in a second. So because we did have one date to choose from. We had one Saturday in December that it was guaranteed that he would make it to the wedding and be home. So we had to stick with that date. And then we went to our vendors with that date and just asked around. And thankfully, because it is December, we are very, very fortunate enough that most places were open because not a lot of people get married in the winter, not nearly as much as in the summer. So if you're getting married in the summer, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, so thankfully we did not really have a struggle to find many people. So that was great, but I will say if you are getting married, not military, um, you probably would go to like your venues and just say like, hey, we're thinking around this time, what do you have available and open? Because that's usually the way those things go down. So yeah, just letting you know. 
So we did pick a date for the wedding and it is December 28th of this year, 2019. So that is very exciting. We love winter. We both live in Minnesota and that's where the wedding will be. And it's just going to be wintry and magical. And I love winter weddings. I think they're so gorgeous and honestly so underrated. So I think that is just going to be like just so beautiful and romantic. So I have already found my dress. I got it from Posh um, Bridal Couture in YZ. Um, that was just a super exciting moment. It was so, so, so fun. Um, so yeah, so I did get that. We have our venue. We have already taken engagement photos and we've kind of just like been on the ball about these things, kind of working through them early. And I have taken a lot of Joe's opinion into account in everything. We kind of went through a list of all things wedding related that he felt like he wanted an opinion in and other things that he didn't care. So like obviously he does not care about like flowers or like bridesmaid gifts or whatever, you know, like obviously. So he really just kind of told me like, hey, like I care about food, like alcohol and like things like that. So that's going to be helpful because he is going to be extremely busy as we are planning this wedding. So yeah, so it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be so exciting. I I already have been just loving it so much. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions that I got um, through my Instagram stories. So the first question is, let's see, any tips or advice for engagement ring shopping? Okay, so let's see, basically the way Joe and I did it, every couple is different, so keep this in mind. It might be different for you than it was for us. Um, Joe told me that he did not wanna go shopping with me and he did not want like me to pick it out or anything. Basically, he wanted to go by himself and pick out the ring that I would be wearing for the rest of my life, which at first I was like, um, <laughs> like kind of nervous. But then as I got around to it, I, um, I really thought it was just kind of like a sweet and precious thing. Like, you know, the ring that I will be wearing for the rest of my life is what he chose for me to propose to me with and I couldn't love it more for that reason. You know, like, of course, if I would have picked it out, I still think I would probably be like, oh, but I think I like this better and like whatever, like I should have done this. And because it's from him, there's absolutely nothing I would change. So I think that is kind of beautiful and um, just a really cool thing that he really wanted to do. But I will say that I did give him some guidelines. So I told him I really wanted rose gold and I wanted a pear shape. And that's kind of, oh, and my ring size because it was important to me that I don't want to get my ring resized after I get it and like not wear it for a couple months while they're doing that. So that's all I told him and then he came back with this. So really he did a great job and he did say that they showed him a few other styles that were maybe not pear or rose gold, but he did say that he ended up falling in love with what I actually liked. So it kind of just worked out great, but um, as far as tips and advice go for engagement ring shopping, um, if you're anything like how we were and maybe your guy wants to go on his own, I would say definitely go shopping on your own um, a few times to try things on your hand and just figure out, you know, like, do you like silver, gold, rose gold? What shape do you want? Um, what kind of band are you looking at, you know? Because there are so many different possibilities and you can honestly drive yourself crazy I kind of did because I just, I wanted it to be perfect. And so then it was kind of nice that he took the pressure off of me. Um, but I will say going shopping is very important to try things on first because for like my whole life, I always thought I wanted like a silver cushion cut halo ring, right? Like I feel like that was just really trendy and popular for a while. And I tried that on in a store and absolutely hated it on my hand. like. For me personally, silver does not look great on me because I am quite pale and it kind of just brought out all of my veins and like my hand and I felt like I looked dead and it was not cute. Also, I do have kind of smaller hands. So when I tried on that cushion cut, it kind of made my hand look short and stumpy and 
I didn't like that, so I knew I needed a diamond that kind of would elongate my hand. So pear was absolutely perfect for that. I will say um, like an oval is good for smaller hands as well. So definitely just go in store and try them on and kind of see what you like and what looks good on you. All right, so next question is, what is one thing you'd say that really got you through long distance? It can be so hard at times. Yes, um, well, long distance um, is not fun by any means, as, as any of you know that are going through it. It's hard to kind of say one thing. Um, so if you don't know, Joe and I have done long distance for two years of our relationship. We did get engaged after two and a half years of dating. So a lot of that was long distance. And um, getting through it is just really kind of like knowing yourself and your significant other and just kind of seeing what works for you. So like for us, when we were both in school, it just worked really well to like give a phone call every night before I we went to bed and just kind of say what we did that day. Good night, love you, whatever. Um, and that was just really helpful just to like hear that person's voice. Obviously FaceTime is such an amazing tool. But then when I was on the cruise ship performing and he was still finishing up his senior year at the academy, um, I was kind of limited on my ways of communication. So I had to buy my Wi-Fi and everything. So um, I couldn't just go on any time I felt like to communicate with him because I was paying for this. And I had like a certain amount of memory that would end up like going away and it's it just got to be kind of expensive to like do a phone call every day or facetime or whatever so um one thing we did do which i thought was really cool we did keep up with it for quite a while is we created a um a shared google doc that had all of these like questions that we would each like type a response to so like there were funny things where it was like you know, like if there was like a celebrity that would play you in a movie, who would it be and why? Uh, but then there's other ones where it's like, what do you envision like, um, like for our future or whatever? Like, what's your favorite quality about me? What, you know, things like that. So that was a really cool way to communicate over distance and just kind of read those responses and to hold on to them is just a really sweet keepsake to have. Um, and then also another thing that, this sounds stupid, but honestly has helped quite a bit during distance is we also created um, shared Spotify playlists. Um, and we just added in like all these songs that we really like. They're obviously mostly like love songs, like it's so kind of like acoustic. Um, but that was really helpful because I would listen to that literally all the time. Like my Spotify wrapped. 2018 was literally just like every song in that playlist, which I thought was kind of funny. But um, that did really help just to kind of have that and really any little thing that you can do to like feel that connection when you're not together is just very important. Um, and I will say that long distance is so worth it because you learn how to communicate so well. Like you if you're arguing or something or just like you have a misunderstanding you have to talk through it because if you're talking over the phone you're not seeing each other you're just gonna like hold a grudge and you're just gonna be mad for several days right so that would be the biggest tip is just communicating but for all of you ladies out there who are doing long distance hang in there i know it's not easy but also i think it is just such a valuable experience that not everybody gets to experience in their relationship and i think i think it's kind of a wonderful thing you learn a lot of things from it and i will be right there with you because in about a month i will be going back to distance in our engagement until the wedding so not excited for that but i'm right there with you if you need any help or advice please feel free to reach out to me and i would love to give you some all right, so the last thing I'm gonna share with you about this is um, I actually made this um, wedding binder for us. It just says like Mr. and Mrs. Wild. In my binder, I actually made all of these um, little tabs. These tabs, um, like the actual stickers themselves are from Target and they're really cheap and really cute. They're like marble pink and black, so 
obviously I had to be pretty but um, I just got these dividers and on here I have like venue photographer day of coordinator the dress um, and I can add several more as well which is nice but in here I just like to keep like all the information that I've gotten from like say the venue contracts like all of that um, and receipts of like town payments and deposits um, and then I also have like a little folder here of any of the like free wedding fair tickets or whatever that I have received so this has just been something really nice to keep me organized and basically a lot of this stuff is already in your emails and online from all of these vendors um, but I just thought that it would be a lot easier to also print them out and just keep them organized to really know and remember like all of these things, especially contracts I like to go through and highlight after I print them. And I just think it's like really helpful, especially for me, I am a visual learner. So if electronic is more your thing, the drive has been extremely helpful. I keep folders in there for everything, kind of just like my binder, but electronically. So I keep deposits, receipts, like all of that contracts on there as well and those are really nice especially for like guest list and budgeting and things like that that you can also share with your family so we've sent it like to our moms and things if we want them to see info so that's just been like a really useful tool as well so i highly recommend doing a binder or a drive or both if you're like me and you like to be extremely organized but that is it for this video i really just kind of wanted to come on here and give you guys a life update answer some questions and tell you a few things about the wedding and um, so i hope you enjoyed it i do plan on doing maybe like some makeup trials on here let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see and i'll take that into consideration thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're engaged congratulations to you and we can go through this together it'll be so fun um, but thank you guys for watching and i hope you have a great day Bye bye